I'm going to leave that up there in case we need it. Yeah. Okay. You can feel the cold coming in, but hopefully it'll equalise. Look at that, it's like a winter wonderland in there. The elves have been into our secret room. Get a bit of the draft out.
yeah, so that's what we've been doing today. Plus, Tina's been canning some stuff up. Uh, what did I do this morning? I also made. Oh, she made some mince pies as well. And I've been messing around with the new inverter, trying to get that all up and running. It's, it's running, but I just, for peace of mind, I just want to make sure that it's running correctly. Yeah, this new inverter, it's, um, I don't know where the best light is. Not quite as straightforward as the, uh, it's not quite as straightforward as the grow what we had. The grow what it was pretty much plug and play, communicated with the battery straight away. This one has been a bit problematic. Uh, it is communicating now and I've got it set, the voltage is set so that it charges the batteries up without going too wild because these are lithium batteries. Um, the BMS is working with a fashion, state of charge isn't showing up correctly, but the voltage is and it's all done on voltage on this one, whereas the grow watt was done on percentage. So we hate, used to have it when the battery was at 20%, it would switch the grid to charge it up if there's not enough sun. And then that would charge the batteries up to 95% and then switch, the grid would switch off and it would go back on to power in the house on the batteries. I think we've got it sorted. Um, yeah, just keeping an eye on it for the next few days to uh, make sure it's all good. Hopefully we'll get the grow watt repaired at some point. But I don't know, I think this one might be a bit more efficient, to be honest. The Grow Watt uses quite a lot of power at idle. And this one, it just seems to, the batteries sort of go into a, a rest mode um, when they're not being required. Obviously, we've had very little solar today. We've had sort of about 350, 400 watts coming in, but that's been enough to power the loads in the house. Everything just seems to sort of throttle right down. Uh, and the, the solar was, covering the house whereas on the grow watt it's always pulling something out of the battery who knows anyway let's crack on but uh, yeah that's it just a little update video it's the 7th of november today uh, mum and dad are coming tomorrow for a spot of lunch so yeah all good puck a ding catch you in the next video bye for now